God alone, all powerful, all seeing, all knowing, almighty. God alone. You're not a God dependent, any mortal man. You are not a God created by any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plans. That's just the way, the way it is. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plans. That's just the way it is. Oh, you are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne, you are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne, you are God alone. Oh, yes, you are. Hallelujah. You're the only God whose power none can contend. You're the only God whose praise and name will never end. You're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give by your plans. That's just the way it is. Oh, for you are God alone in the good times and bad. You are on your throne, you are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne, you are God alone. You're unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable, that's who you are. You're unchangeable, unstoppable, unshakable. That's who you are. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne and you are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, you are on your throne. You are God alone. You're unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. That's who you are. You're unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. That's who you are. You're unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. That's who you are. Unshakable, unchangeable, unstoppable. That's who you are. You're unchangeable, unshakable. Unstoppable, that's who you are. You're unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable, that's who you are. Hallelujah, that's who you are to us. If you believe wherever you are, I want you to say that, Lord, you're unshakable, you're unstoppable. You're unchangeable. That's the God that we serve. Amen. He's the God who can raise the dead. He's the God who can open the blind eye. He's the God who can meet our every need. He's the God that we serve. Amen. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, I want you to applaud our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe you, Lord. We declare you unstoppable, unchangeable.
unshakable, unmovable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nothing our God won't do for us. He sent his only begotten son to die for us. That's the kind of God that we serve. That's the kind of God that I serve. He'll do anything for me. Amen. The God that you serve will do anything for you. Our father. Hallelujah. 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 He's wonderful church. He is mighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he is the cornerstone. Hallelujah. He's the cornerstone. We bless you, Father. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. There's none like you, Father. Great and mighty are you, our cornerstone. We depend on you, unshakable one, unstoppable one. Hallelujah. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I did not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Ooh, yeah. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I did not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Oh, Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong, in the Savior's love, through the storm, he is Lord, Lord of all, oh yes, when darkness seems to hide his face, I rest on him unchanging grace in every high and stormy gale my anchor holds within the veil Christ alone yes Christ alone Cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. Yes, He is Lord of all. Yes, you are. Christ alone, oh, Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love, through the storm, he is Lord, he's Lord of trumpet sound 
oh may I then in him be found. Dress in his right, just mess alone. For less to stand before your throne. Yes. Oh, yes. Christ alone. Christ alone. Cornerstone. Weak, made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. Christ alone, the cornerstone, the weak are made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm. He is Lord, Lord of all. Yeah, Christ alone, cornerstone. Do we come and strong in the Savior's love? Hallelujah. No God like our God. He's our cornerstone. Amen. He's Lord of all. Through the storms, he is Lord of all. He's your mighty one, the only one, the only powerful one. Hallelujah. We give him glory. We give him honor and we give him praise today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we lift him high above all else right now in Psalm 100 and 15 it says not unto us O god but unto you alone is all the glory due amen so tonight we give all the glory to god whatever time zone we're in we're going to give all glory alone to god amen hallelujah we're just going to sing one last song together just worship this song very simple it says higher lord we lift you up high above all else just join in with me as we sing in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah Yes, Lord. We lift you high above all else, Lord. Lift you high above all else because of all you've done for us. Hallelujah. Higher, higher, Lord, we lift you up. High above all else. Higher, higher. Lord, we lift you up high above all else. Just lift up our Savior now for what he's done. We just say, Savior, Savior, we lift you up high above all else. Savior, Savior, you're my Savior. How we lift you up high above all else, Savior, you're my Savior. How I lift you up high above all else. Oh, yes, we do. We lift you up, Lord, Holy One. Sing healer, 
healer, you're our healer, and how we lift you up, high above all else, healer, how you're healer, and how we lift you up, high above all High above all, Savior, you're our Savior, and how we lift you up. High above all else, Savior, you're our Savior, how we lift you up. High above all, you are worthy of our praises. Your greatness knows no end. You're a very present help throughout the ages. Your greatness knows no end. We hail you as the mighty God. You're the Prince of Peace. You're the everlasting Father. You're the wonderful one. You're God's own son. Your greatness knows no end. You're the mighty God, you're the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father, you're the wonderful one, you're God's own son, and your greatness knows no end. You're the mighty God, you're the Prince of Peace, you're the everlasting Father, wonderful one, God's own son, and your greatness knows no end. Higher. Savior, I am how we lift you up. High above all else, higher. Savior, I am how we lift you up. High above all else. Yes, we do. For who you are, we lift you up. Oh, we bless your name. Oh, Savior of the world, we give you glory. High above all else, high above all else. Oh, yes, we do. We lift you high above all else, higher than Krishna, oh, higher than Buddha. We lift you up far above all other gods, high above all else, for there's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Ooh, high above all else, nobody greater than you, Lord, nobody wiser than you, Lord, so we lift you up, high above all else, everlasting one, Savior of the world, high above else oh yes we do 
great and mighty God, we lift you high above all else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we continue to lift the Lord up, no matter what circumstances we find ourselves in, but everything will work out in our good. Amen. We just have to set our affections on the Lord and he'll take care of us. Amen. If he can send his son to die for us, there isn't nothing he won't do for us as people. Hallelujah. Be blessed in Jesus name. I hand back over to Pastor Jolly. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our pastors are joining here. Everybody, thank you for the powerful worship. Again, uh, sister will be worshiping, praise the Lord. Today, everybody, be, uh, the, all the pastors join here. You will be getting, uh, you will be um, according your thoughts, okay? Few minutes, you can share your thoughts in Christ. Everybody will be, everybody can share it, praise the Lord. After that, we'll be sharing the word of God, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So I hope all the nations you enjoy, you are enjoying because of death of Jesus Christ, not only the death, our death through the death, which we have got that time, you have got the glory from the Lord. Because of this reason, all the nations and uh, uh, all are enjoying in Christ Jesus, especially the born again people. So that we can enjoy in Christ Jesus again and again, because it's the greatest victory our God has given to us. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you very much. Uh, Sister Nicole uh, from UK, powerful um, praise and worship. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Nicole. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you very much. Can I invite Pastor Peter uh, from Nigeria? Can you please pray a few minutes, uh, two, three minutes time, praise the Lord, for this section, and their section, and uh, uh, can you please pray to the Lord uh, so that can I invite you, Pastor Peter from Nigeria? Please unmute your audio. Uh <clears throat> Praise the Lord. I want to thank God because of this opportunity that he has given me uh, to be live in uh, Shake the Nations. Uh, I want to thank God because God is doing great work all over the world. And I want to thank God for Julie, Pastor Julie Laza, in your work that you are doing. Praise the Lord. A line got break. It doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It will reconnect. We'll wait a few seconds. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Peter. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When line will get connect again, you can uh, pray. You'll be getting the time to pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that um, I think I cannot hear. Praise everybody. You cannot hear, right? You cannot hear. Such a Nicole, can you hear it? Pastor Peter, I think uh, the line is not uh, connected, not connected. Praise the Lord. Hell, can I invite? Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, Pastor Mike, can you please pray a couple of minutes time for this section? All right. Few minutes session. Let us pray. Father, we come once again before you right now in the name above all, the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. As we have come before you, Father, may your name be glorified in everything that is mm -hmm. going to happen on this platform shake the nations in the name yes, of yes. jesus we pray for the praise and worship we pray for the word we pray for every activity that is going to take place in the name of jesus in the name of jesus yes lord you are god who makes a way out of no way we thank you we bless you we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor may your name be glorified above every name as you have said men shall not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. We thank you for this wonderful day, the day that we remember, Father, the day of our salvation when the journey started, Father, in the name of Jesus, this Easter Friday. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory as we remember, Father, how you went through, what happened, and how we came to being who we are today. We just want to thank you for this day where we do remember the day our Lord was crucified, our Lord was put on the cross. We thank you, Lord. We glorify you. May your name be glorified above every name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. We are going to start. Officially, we are going to start this session. Um, uh, some pastors want to share the five minutes a little bit their thoughts in Christ Jesus. 
I don't know, lying or disconnected there, uh, left uh, the lying or disconnected something. Let them rejoin right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can pray to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And um, so, um, uh, Pastor Suresh from US, can I invite, if you are available, please, if your line is all right, still available, praise the Lord, can I invite the five minute time to share your thoughts in Christ Jesus, in the death of Jesus Christ and uh, and the glory of the Jesus Christ which you have got from the Lord, the revelation which you have got from the Lord, can, you, can I invite you to share the five minute time from now on, yes, Pastor Suresh Lord. from can, USA. Can you hear me? I can hear, but you cannot see your uh, video. Okay, just so. <laughs> Brother, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. you can go ahead. Right. Yes, yes. Thank you so much um, for this wonderful opportunity, Pastor Jolly. And it's so good to be with the wonderful people of God, blood bought children of God. And thank you, Sister Nicole, for the powerful worship was really experiencing the presence of God. And, and what a wonderful power God has given us to exercise just by praising him and worshiping him for all the grace that he has given us. I'd like to share with you Titus chapter 2 verse 11 says, For the grace of God has appeared bringing salvation for all people. Jesus Christ coming into this world is actually the manifestation of grace. It's the, it's the grace given to every person in this world, the entire mankind. The grace, which is a remarkable compassion that I believe the human mind, human intelligence is not enough to express the gratitude for the grace God has given us. And what a wonderful grace Jesus Christ brought into this world. It's all because of the, the love of God, the Father, who loved us so much. And he gave his one and only son for us so that whoever believes in him, they shall not die. They shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Just imagine, imagine the amazing grace that once we committed sin, Adam and Eve committed sin and through them, the entire mankind was cursed and was separated from the holy God. But the same God who wanted us back into his holy relationship, he sent us that amazing grace in the form of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ carried our sins upon him. He died on the cross and took the punishment for us being a substitute for us on the cross. By dying on the cross, he paid the penalty for all of our sins, canceled all the debt forever. Our past, present, and even the future sins, no sin can rule over us anymore. Jesus Christ canceled the entire debt paid the entire penalty by shedding his holy blood for us. And that blood it still has the power that preventing every sin from entering our life. So in Jesus name, through Jesus, whoever lives in faith, through the faith we have, we can no longer sin because of Jesus death on the cross. And not only that, when Jesus died on the cross for us and buried and third day when he rose again he gave us the everlasting life so that a christian believer can never die for a believer the death is only the transformation or the translation from a perishable body into an imperishable body what a glory god has given us my friends these days as we meditate upon the cross we receive power because we believe in Jesus Christ. Whoever believes in the cross, whoever believes in the sacrifice Jesus had done on the cross will receive strength, power, and the spirit. I would like to share with you very quickly the seven words Jesus Christ spoke on the cross. Those seven words are so powerful. When you look at the word, you just receive what a comfort, what a grace, what a power. 
you know, the first word Jesus said about three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My friends, Jesus Christ was forsaken because of our sin. Jesus Christ, he bore all of our sins and he appeared with full of sin when the father had seen him. So I want you under, I want you to know that the grace bears our burdens. Jesus Christ on the cross, he bore all of our sins. And today, after 2,000 years, the same grace that was manifested on the cross of Calvary is bearing your burdens and my burdens. So being a Christian believer in this world, you and I cannot, you don't have to bear any burdens. We just cast our burdens on him. So the first word reminds every believer that we don't have to bear any burdens. Jesus Christ already bore everything. Now, are you carrying any burden in your life? Any, any difficulties, any, any challenges? All these burdens and difficulties, you do not have to bear it. I do not have to bear it. So grace bears burdens because Jesus Christ bore everything on the cross. And the second word I want to remind you, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. You know how brutally he was tortured and persecuted, insulted and sneered at and laughed at and all these things. Jesus forgave them. He cried on the cross and prayed intercessions for the enemies who were persecuting him. Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. Again, I want to remind you, after 2,000, of, uh, 2000 years, the same grace still forgives you and me. No matter how terrible you sin against God, there is no big sin that God cannot forgive you and me. There is nothing you can do or you cannot do that just that, that makes God's love any less. God's grace is so abundant, so amazing. It is still powerful. His forgiveness is still working in you and in me. He still forgives us, my friends. The forgiveness was promised on the cross. It's forever. You and I can no longer sin or you and I can no longer live in any guilt. We are forgiven. I want to remind you third word Jesus said. Jesus answered him, truly I tell you, Today you will be with me in paradise. This was an answer to the prayer of one of the thieves who was hung on the cross. And one thief, he did not understand the power of Jesus and he ridiculed him. Whereas the second thief on the cross and he looked at him. He listened to the words Jesus was uttering. The importance and the power of Jesus. He knew that he was the son of God. And he said, Jesus, I know you are the son of God. You have a kingdom in heaven and you are going there now. You will come back. When you come back, please remind, remember me. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. My friends, that word reminds us after 2,000 years, the grace rewards us and answers our prayers. No matter what you ask God, there is nothing God cannot give you. You can ask anything that blows away your mind. Ask him great and mighty things. Do not ask small things and, 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 and minimize God's power. Ask him glorious things that blows away your mind. He wants to do mighty things for you. Above all, he wants to answer your prayers and my prayers. What a wonderful grace. The grace that answers the prayer of an ordinary person in this world. Wow. Let me re uh, remind you the fourth word Jesus Christ uttered on the cross. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Jesus Christ completed all the work he, has, he, he was uh, given. And he said, Lord, I commit my spirit into your hands. Here I want you to understand, even though he carried the sins of the whole world, even though who, he looked so sinful, even though the father could not see him at all, he hid his face from him. 
but his conscience was so clear. His conscience was so unblemished. His conscience was so holy that he could hand over the spirit back to the father. My friends, this word reminds us that Jesus Christ and his grace cleanses our conscience. You and I do not have to carry any guilt in our conscience. When you sin or I sin, when you go to God and ask for forgiveness, you may have so many weaknesses. You may have so many setbacks. My friends, it's okay. You go to God and I come to God and say, Lord, forgive me. And Jesus Christ not only forgives, but also he cleanses our conscience so that that sin can never come back again, can never claim anything from us. So God, Jesus Christ on the cross, permanently cancel the sin that not even our conscience is pricked. Because God keeps our conscience so holy because he wants us to be in his fellowship so we are clean and holy, including our conscience. Then I want to remind you, fifth word, Jesus uttered on the cross. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. My friends, Jesus cared for her mother. Jesus cared for her needs in the old age. Jesus cared for her. Jesus attended her needs, had compassion on, on, on mother. I want to remind you that even after 2,000 years later, the word Jesus Christ uttered on the cross, it's still powerful, still cares for us. No matter what need you are in, it may be financial, employment, and sickness, our family issue, relationship, whatever the issue you have, my friends, Jesus cares for you and me. Sixth word, I want to remind you, later, knowing that everything had now been finished, and so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. My friends, after 2,000 years later, God fulfills our every promise in our lives. He said, I am thirsty is the representation of the fulfillment of the promises, fulfillment of the, the prophecies that were spoken. So that tells us that whatever the promise Jesus Christ had given you personally, or whatever the promise that he had given us in the Bible, he is ready to fulfill. The one who had started a good work in you and me is faithful to finish it. God cares for you. He knows all the, the wonderful blessings he has in store for you. He has plans for you and for me to prosper us and give us great future. And the last word I want to remind you is when he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. It is finished. Everything is finished. The paying debt for the sin is finished. He fully paid. It is finished. The work of redemption was accomplished. It is finished. Fighting with the sin and, and, and defeating the sin is finished. He broke the, the sting of death, my friends. And thanks be to God today for the victory he has given us through the blood, the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Lord. last thing I want to remind you that the same grace offers us a new beginning. My friends, anybody is struggling in your life with anything, you think you're so desperate and you lost everything, go to God. Remember what God spoke to you. It's finished. Nothing can stop you from coming to Praise God. Praise the Lord. The new beginning. Thank you all so much for giving <laughs> me the opportunity. Thank you, Pastor Jolly, for the wonderful time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for the sharing the word. It's an encouraging word. Um, that means uh, what Jesus Christ has done at the cross for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And another Pastor Mike, uh, can I invite five minutes? Uh, please keep up that time. Pastor Mike, can I invite five minute time uh, to share uh, your word, your thoughts, um, your vision in Christ? Five minute time. Pastor Mike. Uh, praise the name of Jesus Christ. I greet you, saints, in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
in such a time where we are remembering our salvation, we're remembering our independent, remembering the good work that the Lord has done for us. Uh, as I am about to also give a little bit of the insight of how I understand and how the Lord did for us. I don't have much to say, but I'll just back on Luke 23, verse 46, where the Bible says after he had, these were the last words of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. After he had said the six words, and the sixth word when he said it is finished, and after that, when he said it is finished, the Bible says in Luke 23, 46, he says, Jesus called with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. So his work on the cross accompanied with the prayer. Jesus healed his body to death on the cross. This shows that he gave up his life. And when he wanted, he did it the way he wanted it. So no one took his life. This is one thing we need to understand. He gave it up when his work was finished. So Jesus was not a victim here. So we should pity, but a conqueror, an overcomer. We should admire, uh, save your pity for those who reject and complete work of Jesus on the cross for Calvary for those preachers, like Paul says uh, in his word, we preach the, the word Christ whom we crucified. So he says, my spirit, I put in your hands, I deposit my spirit in your hands. So he said, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. So these were the final words recorded by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is, was quoting the uh, book of Psalms 31, verse 5. So all I want to say to you that is that everything about Jesus, his birth and his parables, his life and his preaching, all of it leads to this moment. So this moment of the cross, which he calls his hour. May you be encouraged, the child of God, today, that enough, though you suffer, in the hands of people around you, but when you turn to God, there is peace, security, and rest. So Jesus knew that he was not his end for him. He knew that he will rise again. So the, the touch of the hand signifies that we are in, in this together. That's why he says, in your hands, I put my spirit. So when Jesus cried out, when Jesus prayed, Father, into your hands, I commit my spirit. He was saying, God, there is safety and security in your hands. So even though I am suffering at the hands of the men or people around me, I know that I can find peace and rest in your hands. So the mission is accomplished in the sixth sayings. It is finished. Now he speaks his last word. I'm tired of being whipped. I'm tired of being humiliated. I'm tired of going through all of these things. So with the hands to spear me, the spear his, his hands, and his hands, they nailed him. All these things happened to Jesus on the cross. So he says, Father, the mission is accomplished. Father, the job is done. So as I have done the job, my spirit, I commit in your hands. So he gives his spirit to the Father. So he, that's why we say, when you know that you are in the hands of God, you are safe. Because when God takes care of you. That's why the Bible says, your mother may forget you, your father may forget you, but I will not forget you because your, 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 your name, I've inscribed your name in my hands. That's why Jesus is saying, I'm depositing my life in my hands. Remember, when you go to the bank, you deposit, it means you shall withdraw. So Jesus is saying, I commit my life in your hands. So when I commit my life in your hands, knowing I will take it back again. So the, the life of Jesus is safe because he's in the hands of the Father. So he, he th this was his special moment, like I said, the best moment. Why was it his best moment? Because everything was accomplished. The job done, everything he had done, it was done. And he was happy that after 33 years, now it's time for me to take the glory I had before, before I came into the world. So, you know, he was so happy that he had completed everything. Now he was going back to be with the Father. So he says, I want to come back in your hands. It was a prayer. Into your hands I commit my what? My spirit. So he deposited his life in the hands of God. So he put everything under God because God was with him. So I just want you to understand that Jesus 
we don't pity Jesus because this is was the beginning of us being saved. This was the beginning of us standing, understanding that he died for us, he paid the price. Let me tell you, child of God, you don't owe the devil nothing. Everything Jesus paid, every debt, now we are free. That's why the Bible says, when a son of man, hallelujah, frees you and free you are indeed. So you must understand you are a free man, a free woman, a free child of God. The devil has no power over you because we owe him nothing. So when the devil asks of you, tell him, I owe you nothing, Jesus paid the price. He did not pay halfway, he did not pay three quarter, he paid to the fullest. So we are free through Christ Jesus. So we thank God for this wonderful day. So this is the day of our independence. This is the day that the Lord paid the price. So we are great to know that our God and our Lord Jesus Christ did the price for us. May God bless you, amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. An encouraging word, uh, Pastor Mike. God bless you. Thank you very much. Can I invite Sister Nicole to sing one song? After that, we are going to start the uh, word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for the powerful word of God. Sister Nicole is there. Then we can sing one song. Then we'll uh, go ahead. The word of God will share it. Amen. Amen. It's just so good to think that we are worth something. God saw us as valuable. You know, some people walk around feeling less than who they should be, but we just have to realize that the savior of the world died on the cross for us. What a privileged people we are, that the almighty God would send his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, you know? So I just want us all to be encouraged and feel worth, you know? And this is the next song that we're gonna to minister together um, right now. So be blessed in Jesus' name, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You thought I was worth saving, so you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping, so you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life so I can be free, so I can be whole, and I can tell everyone I know you thought I was worth saving. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life so I can be free, so I can be whole, and I can tell everyone I know. Hallelujah. the God who changed my life and I will praise him forever worship forever give glory forever cause now I am free and now I am whole and I can tell everyone I know oh hallelujah Glory to the God who changed my life, and I will praise him forever. I will worship forever. I will give him glory because I am free, because I am whole, 
and I will tell everyone I know that you thought I was worth saving. Oh, yes, Lord, glory to the God who changed my life. And I will praise you forever. I will worship forever. I will give you glory. Oh, I will praise you forever. I will worship forever. I will give you glory. Because you thought I was worth saving. Yeah, I'll tell everyone I know. You thought I was worth saving. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. Oh, yeah. You thought I was to die for. You thought I was to die for. And now I am free. Hallelujah. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Sister Nicole. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And right now,